Welcome to the module on non-destructive testing or NDT. Today we will learn about scope of non-destructive testing or NDT, classification and uses of NDT methods, visual inspection, liquid penetrant inspection, magnetic particle inspection, radiography, eddy current testing, ultrasonic inspection or pulse echo, acoustic emission testing and thermography in order to confirm that product is free from any harmful defects or flaws and to determine their mechanical properties, certain tests are conducted as destructive testing or non-destructive testing. Destructive testing, in this method, test specimens of materials are fractured and the tests are performed on them. Non-destructive testing, in this method, detection of internal flaws in materials, components is done without impairing its future usefulness. It means tests are performed on components without breaking them. Scope of NDT. NDT methods are very useful in several fields, including flaw detection and evaluation, leak detection, location determination, dimensional measurements, structure and microstructure characterization, estimation of mechanical and physical properties, and material sorting and chemical composition determination. NDT applications are almost used in any stage in the production, such as in sorting of incoming materials to monitor, improve, or control manufacturing process, to verify proper processing such as heat treatment, and, to inspect for in-service damage, classification of NDT methods, visual inspection, with naked eye, or, with optical aids, liquid penetrant inspection, magnetic particle testing, DC and AC magnetization, radiography, eddy current inspection, ultrasonic testing, X-ray radiography, gamma rays radiography, acoustic emission testing, and thermography, visual inspection. It is most basic and common inspection method. Tools includes fiberscopes, boroscopes, magnifying glass and mirrors, portable video inspection, robotic crawlers permit observation in hazardous or tight areas, such as air ducts, rectors, pipelines, liquid penetrant inspection. A liquid with high surface wetting characteristics is applied to the surface of the part and allowed time to seep into surface breaking defect. The excess liquid is removed from the surface of the part. A developer, powder, is applied to pull the trapped penetrant out the defect and spread it on the surface where it can be seen. Visual inspection is the final step in the process. The penetrant used is often loaded with a fluorescent dye and the inspection is done under UV light to increase test sensitivity. Magnetic particle inspection. The part is magnetized. Finely milled iron particles coated with a dye pigment are then applied to the specimen. These particles are attracted to magnetic flux leakage fields and will cluster to form an indication directly over the discontinuity. This indication can be visually detected under proper lighting conditions, radiography. In general, radiography is the art and science of using radiation to provide images of the tissues, organs, bones, and vessels that comprise the human body. Radiographic testing, or RT, is a non-destructive examination. NDE, technique that involves the use of either X-rays or gamma rays to view the internal structure of a component. In the petrochemical industry, RT is often used to inspect machinery, such as pressure vessels and valves, to detect for flaws. The radiation used in radiography testing is a higher energy, shorter wavelength, version of the electromagnetic waves that we see as visible light. The radiation can come from an X-ray generator or a radioactive source. Film radiography. The part is placed between the radiation source and a piece of film. The part will stop some of the radiation. Thicker and more dense area will stop more of the radiation. The film darkness will vary with the amount of radiation reaching the film through the test object. Eddy current testing. Eddy current testing is a non-destructive testing NDT, inspection method used for a variety of purposes, including for flaw detection, material and coating thickness measurements material identification and establishing the heat treatment condition of certain materials. Eddy current testing is particularly well suited for detecting surface cracks but can also be used to make electrical conductivity and coating thickness measurements. Here a small surface probe is scanned over the part surface in an attempt to detect a crack, ultrasonic inspection, or pulse echo. Ultrasonic testing, UT, is a non-destructive test method that utilizes sound waves to detect cracks and defects in parts and materials. It can also be used to determine a material's thickness, such as measuring the wall thickness of a pipe. High frequency sound waves are introduced into a material and they are reflected back from surfaces or flaws. 
reflected sound energy is displayed versus time, an inspector can visualize a cross-section of the specimen showing the depth of features that reflect sound. Acoustic Emission Testing Acoustic emission, or AE, testing is a powerful method for inspecting and monitoring the behavior of equipment and materials performing under stress. Acoustic emission testing works by mounting small sensors onto a component under test. The sensors convert the stress waves into electrical signals, which are relayed to an acquisition PC for processing. The waves are captured when the component is submitted to high pressures, loads or temperatures. As the damage grows in the component, there is a greater release of energy. The rates in which the acoustic emission is detected, the activity, and the intensity of the acoustic emission, the loudness, are monitored and used for assessing structural integrity and for health monitoring of components. Acoustic emission can be thought of as tiny earthquakes that occur in the material. The technique globally monitors a component for defects, allowing large structures and machines to be monitored while in operation with minimal disruption, unlike destructive testing. By using multiple sensors, acoustic emission sources, and hence the damage, can be located. Through signal analysis, the presence of different source mechanisms can also be determined. Thermography Thermal imaging technology is used throughout the oil and gas industry in a diverse range of applications for both predictive maintenance and condition monitoring, C, M, including Sand level evaluation in tanks and vessels Gas leak detection Pipe integrity Corrosion under insulation, CUI, inspections Flare header line inspections Insulation inspections on LPG-LNG holding tanks Cathode protection assessments Optical gas imaging Electrical thermography and Moisture ingress in pipe lagging Uses for thermal imaging As a rule of thumb, electrical and mechanical thermographic surveys are best undertaken while plant or equipment is operational at a 40% minimum load. Examples of historical thermographic surveys include Live inspection detecting loose bus bar fittings Identifying load imbalances, failing fuses and loose terminal block connections Evaluate equipment experiencing misaligned drive shaft issues Identification of passing valves in high-pressure process pipework Identification of poorly fitted bolts on pipe flanges and Monitor bearing temperature on mud pump shafts during high-pressure pumping Thank you for learning with us